Hey, Amazon sellers. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I could use my budget screen within your Amazon ad console to improve your bids and also potentially lower your A costs. So if you're looking for, um, you know, ways to leverage budget screen to improve your PPC performance, uh, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the marketing manager here at Landing Cube. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we geek out on Amazon, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, so the budget screen is like within your Amazon advertising dashboard, and that would be like right here, the budget. So I think a lot of Amazon sellers haven't really been using this. I think it's, it's great. Uh, I think it's one way for Amazon to get you to spend more money by, you know, you see like recommended budget here, you know, by clicking and applying more, basically is uh, allow Amazon to like spend more of your money, all right? But I kind of use it in a kind of like a different fashion. So so again, I would also look at the average time and budget. So basically what this saying is that in terms of percentage, percentage of time from this period, that how much time this campaign is spent in budget, right? Let's just say my budget is like a certain set amount and Amazon was able to like use all the budget within, you know, say by noon, right? Which would be like half of the day. Then that would be a 50%. So there's like 50% of the day, right? Where you are currently not in budget, right? So that is basically the opposite of average time in budget. So what it's telling me is that at its current uh, constraint, right? My current budget constraint that I am used up all the budgets within a certain particular time. So I'm looking at this where anything that has like a low uh, average time in budget. So I think like these ones, um, you know, are pretty high already. So they're pretty optimized. But what I would look into like is like these ones right here. Right. So you can see this one face rollers. Uh, so I think this one's like a very good example. So I'm looking at this holding the budget steady at $40. So I would make the following decision. So I see like, you know, I'm making 200 orders at cost per click of 75 cents. What if I could lower this, get more clicks, increase the clicks, lower this amount, right? And keeping it at 40%. So that means that I could potentially get more clicks with the same budget while increasing this percentage, right? That goes to logic. So I've been uh, really using this to kind of make some optimization decision of which one I could potentially, there's ways to go for me to like lower the cost per click for the particular campaign. So I think this is like a very good example for me to like kind of optimize. So look right now, it's like 20, what, 27% of the time where it's not in budget, right? And it was telling me that I could, I could in theory increase the budget and continue to spend more, right? But it's currently at 56 seven percent a cost so i want to like lower it right so how can i lower it without affecting sales so i could just go into here so look at uh, like the cost per click so the cost per click seems to be um so i've kind of recently did this actually so you could see that what i did for this particular bid is that i decided to lower it so you can see cost per click so i did decide to lower it to like a much uh, lower amount to like basically half like 38 percent right it was the cost per click was 0.77 so you could see that as time went on my cost per click was a lot lower but my spend is a lot lower so maybe i went overboard here so you can see my a cost as well my a cost this is like a very bad day but you can see on average my a cost is like a lot better when i got like a lower cost per click uh but at the same time you can see like my overall spend like cratered Right. So I was like spending like $25, $30 a day and they crater to like five, $10 a day. So I think what I did here was I think I went overboard with the optimization. So I think there's room for me at 57% at 0.77 cost per click. I could potentially maybe just increase it to like 50 cents and that more or less have like a kind of like 40% a cost target. So it's telling me, so like this dashboard right now is like, you know, telling me top campaigns where there's room for me to like really be aggressive in lowering the bids, lowering the cost per click while keeping the existing budget. So basically it allows me to uh, look for low hang fruits in campaigns that I could lower bid right now still be in budget while potentially not even missing out on any sales yeah so i think for amazon any amazon ppc practitioner amazon sellers make use of the budgets screen don't just use it for a way to like increase your budget you're just you know blindly giving uh, amazon the ability to charge you more money use this to for your advantage in terms of optimization so you can see it like right here um 81 percent so let's just take a look at this one uh currently like 0.49 let me see what my current bid is. Um, so it's 0.46 is my cost per click, 
3.4, you got 3 ounces lower a little bit. Um, 36. And I'm constantly, what is saying that I am, I am only, so just like 20% of the time is out of budget. So what I can do, so how much I'm spending on a daily basis. I only spend like $10 on a daily basis. I think that's more than enough, actually. Uh, I'm not too sure why it's, so spending $30 at 40. So I think there's room for me to actually upbid this. So uh, let's make sure this bid is low. At the same time, let's increase this bid to, so close match seems to be the one that's making majority of sales at a relatively lower A cost. So let's just put like 42 over here and see how the calculus changes. Loose match, it seems to be doing pretty well. So let's uh, give it an additional, um, I don't know, it's like 28 cents. Okay, so this is like the optimization decisions that I would make based on my budget dashboard. Uh, so I know a lot of Amazon sellers out there and also a lot of Amazon PPC manager. It's not really making use of uh, this particular screen for your optimization decisions. And I think, you know, they're missing out because this screen tells you that the ability to use your current allocated budget in a more efficient manner. It's quite obvious if you're actually always like used up the budget within a day, that means that really two decisions, right? You could basically increase the budget. The second option is to lower your bid and spend the same amount and get Get more clicks with the same budget. So I prefer making decision on the latter than the former because I don't like to overspend with Amazon. At the end of the day with Amazon, uh, it's not only just like bid ops, you know, harvesting and uh, negates. It's really about like budget management and also uh, cost per click management as well, right? Because it's anything equal, the more clicks and the lower the amount that you pay for each clicks is at the end of the day would give you the best ROI. Lastly, if you are looking to collect an uh, email to build your audience off of Amazon, check out LandingQue. We are an Amazon selling specific landing page builder for your off Amazon marketing, such as Google, Facebook, TikTok ads, or also acts as your funnel for your product insert. Sign up now for a 21 day free trial in the link below. So until the next video drop, happy selling.